God, the PTA has disbanded! <laughs> no, no, the PTA has not what? disbanded! All right, welcome back to another High School Principal Reacts. My name is Brandon, and I'm a high school principal from the U.S. state of Georgia. I'm pretty excited today because this is The Simpsons, the classic TV show, one of the most popular TV shows of all time. And there are several episodes with school scenes in here. Uh, the first one here that I'm going to review is one called The PTA Disbands. I have not seen it yet, so I'll be reacting to it for the first time. I'm really curious to see what this one is about. I'm told it's all about the school there in Springfield. Um, I think there are several episodes like this, but I'm excited to get into my first episode of The Simpsons. Let's go ahead and get into it. And just a reminder, if you're enjoying this series, please consider subscribing. Let's go. School bus. That doesn't look too good. This bus has seen better edges. days. Well, at least it's safer than the old bus. <laughs> uh -oh. Time to move. The <laughs> it just exploded. Getting bigger. <laughs> Seymour, the children are playing in the hall again. Shouldn't you get that fixed? Edna, you know they just cut the school's budget. Besides, if I had the money, I'd fix the exhaust leak in the back. Frankly, I think it's causing some of our low test scores. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> So, um, yeah, the, now the only shred of truth to this is school buses are kind of a significant purchase. You can imagine these things cost um, a lot of money. So they do tend to be around a while. And, you know, I have seen, you know, 10 year old school buses, 15 year old school buses, even 20 year old school buses. But there are safety standards that schools are required to adhere to. The Department of Transportation looks at that very seriously. They have to pass a safety inspection every year. So um, all this stuff you see here, stuff falling off the bus and all this, these jagged sharp edges sticking out of the seat and holes falling out. Nah, not, not even close. All right, the battlefield is just a half mile ahead. Begin braking procedure. <laughs> That's the breaking procedure. <laughs> nah. Otto, why don't you get some more gas? Here's the credit card. <laughs> and the mint for afterwards. Five dollars a child. Last year it was free. Hmm. New ownership. But, but we don't have that kind of money. In fact, no school could afford to... Uh. Here's the admission plus uh, some for you. See that they get a little extra education, would you? <laughs> Sir, Principal Valiant. Okay, have fun. Wait, wait. Uh. Well, Seymour, because of your penny pinching, we're coming back from a field trip with the fewest children yet. God bless the man who invented permission slips. So he says, bless the man who invented uh, permission slips. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, permission slips are important. You can't just go on a field trip or take students um, outside of the school without some sort of parental consent. That is very important. Um, but you can't leave students either. Uh, that would be a huge deal to say the very very least um yeah you you can't <laughs> he, he left a few kids behind um yeah not gonna happen uh i think i got your lunch <laughs> oh yeah i didn't think this was for me seymour the teachers are fed up you have to start putting money back into the school you cut back on everything salaries supplies the food I don't care what you say. I can taste the newspaper. Posh. <laughs> yeah, and uh, the principal doesn't set the school budget. The school budget is going to come from your school district, and which gets a lot of its funds from the state. So 
Uh, that's why, you know, in election years and other times you hear about budget cuts at the state level. Um, I talked about that a little bit on my Say by the Bell episode reaction video. So, uh, yeah, what she's saying about him alone controlling all those things. No. Now, as principal, you do have control over how some of the instructional funds are spent. Um, but as far as those other things, like especially salaries, nah, that's from the school district. Shredded newspapers add much needed roughage and essential inks. Besides, you didn't notice essential the old gym mats. There's very little meat in these Ugh. gym mats. Our demands are very reasonable. By ignoring them, you're selling out these children's futures. Oh, come on, Edna. We both know these children have no future. Yeah, no principal would ever say that, obviously. And you see, you saw, you saw them, like, grinding up some gym mats. Absolutely disgusting. And actually, um, I'll say that the school nutrition programs are one of the uh, stricter programs as far as how funds for school nutrition are spent and what sort of standards as far as nutrition that the meals have to have. I'm very strict. And so, yeah, <laughs> no grinding up uh, gym mats and the food. Nah. Prove me wrong, kids. Prove me wrong. I've never seen them fight like that, Bart. I'm worried that all this posturing and saber rattling could lead to a teacher strike. Strike, eh? Ow! Ugh, my bones are so brittle. Malk. He's and drinking I malk. Drink plenty of malk. <laughs> I don't know, vitamin R. How do you expect us to teach with these supplies? Well, this pointer's so old it's worn down to a nub. <laughs> it still points, doesn't it? Stop that! Go oh, away, Bart. This is not a good time. I saw you two fighting. I'm worried there could be a strike and the school would shut down. <laughs> I'm sure you'd really hate that. There's not going to be a strike, Bart. Yeah. Skinner said you wouldn't have the wontons to go through with it. <gasps> Skinner said that? Well, I had to clean it up a little. <laughs> Basically, Krabappa said you'd give the teachers everything they want. He's trying to start a strike. Yeah. She said you'd fold faster than Superman on laundry day. We'll see about that. Simpson, I always thought you were sneaky and manipulative. But now I see you're really a very sensitive little boy. Thank you, sir. <laughs> No. Seymour, you're being totally unfair and the teachers won't stand for it. Teachers, you don't have the guts to strike. You don't have the guts to take us all on. <laughs> That's it. Strike. And by the way, um, the t teacher strikes, I mean, you do hear about teacher strikes every once in a while in the media. This kind of depends on where you live. So... Uh, in some states, uh, and I'm not going to talk so much about the teachers unions, pretty controversial topic. Um, some states have them. Some states don't have them, depending on whether it's a right to work state or not uh, that allows unions. Uh, here in Georgia, we don't have teachers unions. Um, again, very controversial topic. So here in Georgia, we don't have teacher strikes because there are no teachers unions. In other states, uh, like neighboring Florida, out in California, yes, they have teachers unions and you do hear about strikes. Um, and it's not going to be a principal who negotiates with them. It's going to be the school district, uh, the larger school district who's going to negotiate with them or the, the teacher union leaders. So, again, very controversial topic. I'm not going to get into it. But here in Georgia, we don't have that. So. Um, there's really no such thing as teacher strikes. Each teacher has an individual contract with the school district that they they can negotiate themselves if they want to. Um, but you can't, you know, there's no teacher strikes like they're describing here. Attention, this is an emergency broadcast. All is well in the school. <laughs> My authority as principal is total. <laughs> Give me that. Attention, teachers. We're on strike. Oh, no. Strike, Miss Over? Are you on? Go home, children. Hello, Mrs. Pummelwurst. <laughs> hey, now, now that Largo's gone, we we can play the forbidden music. <laughs> Not bad. I heard that. What are you two 
doing home so early? Great news, Mom! Horrible news, Mom! The school's on strike! Maybe forever. Oh, overload. Pleasure overload. Mwah! Luckily, I'm prepared for this, so I'm not too worried. <laughs> strike preparedness kit. Sit up straight. I... <laughs> <laughs> so she's got a, a tape recording of various teachers telling her to sit up straight. She's got a math book, a picture of the school, and <laughs> cafeteria-style fish sticks. So, yeah, and you do get different reactions when we don't have teacher strikes here in Georgia, like I mentioned. Different school districts were out for a period of time during the pandemic. We have severe weather, uh, school outages sometimes, uh, tornadoes, hurricanes, things of that nature. So uh, we do have different reactions to school being out. We have students that are kind of bummed because um, they don't get to see their friends and their teachers that they do like. And we have kids that just don't particularly want to go. And so they're, of course, thrilled like Bart was. Is that gum? Is that gum? Oh, yeah. <sighs> Bart, leave that crowbar here. You know I don't like him prying and jimmying. Mom, Dad, great news! The teachers are on... We heard. And we already hired a tutor. Well, <laughs> we'll be staying late today to make up for all this dilly-dallying. No. <laughs> nah. The arcade. <laughs> He's got change. <laughs> playing chess? Hey, that little boy is playing three games at once. Checkmate. 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 Bang. Lousy teachers trying to palm off our kids on us. But, Dad, by striking, they're trying to affect a change in management so that they can be happier and more productive. So if we were in school this week, what do you think we'd be learning? <laughs> Get away from me. Good news, people! Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm happy to announce that another union has joined us in a sympathy strike. The Piano Tuners Local 412! <laughs> Piano Tuners. <laughs> and, you know, you can see why the teacher teachers' unions and strikes and things of that nature are so controversial, because on the one hand, you have... Uh, what Lisa said about, you know, they're just trying to make a difference and make things better for the school um, and make themselves more productive. And then you've got this criticism, the gimme, gimme, gimme. Uh, you've got uh, some people that say, well, it's all about money. And usually it is partly, you know, teachers want raises. And I think they, uh, most teachers do deserve a raise. But yeah, very controversial to say the least. Seymour, you are truly incompetent. Listen to those passing motorists who support the teachers. <laughs> 15 minute recess, Millhouse. The recess assignment is chapters three through seven. Yay, recess! Millhouse, I found a hive of killer bees. You want to go throw rocks at it? Sorry, Bart. I'm deeply immersed in the Teapot Dome scandal. Huh? However, it might be feasible in a fortnight. Why? I can play in two weeks. Ja? Grade me. Look at me. Evaluate and rank me. Oh, I'm so good and oh, so smart. Grade me! <laughs> All right, I'd like to call this meeting of the PTA to or diddly order and let's see if we can't PTA. put it in a strike fuss, huh? Mrs. Krabappo, why don't you begin? Boo! Oh, boo yourself. So if you don't know what PTA is, a PTA, or sometimes it's called PTO, or it goes by other names, is a parent organization or parent-teacher organization. Almost all schools are going to have some sort of uh, official or formalized parent-teacher organization, which is designed to get parents involved in students' education and to make a positive impact on the school. So that's what we're seeing here. Our demands are simple. A small cost of living increase and some better equipment and supplies for your children. Oh, that's oh, right. Right. Give it to them. 
Yeah, in a dream world, we have a very tight budget to do what she's asking. We'd have to raise taxes. Raise way too high as they are. It's your children's future. Oh, yeah, yeah, children, right. children are important. Yes. It will cost you. Yeah. Oh, the taxes. Right. Yeah. Raise taxes. Come on. Yeah, now you can see another reason why it's controversial. Um, it is true that the budget for the school does in part come from local property taxes. I mentioned it comes from the state and you also get money from the federal government, but a lot of it also comes from the local property taxes that people pay uh, in your local district. So there's some truth to this uh, here also. Um, All right, that's a good point. Oh yeah, that sounds... Come on is a good point. I rub in the fingers. The finger thing means the taxes. Well, I guess this is the case where we'll have to agree to disagree. I don't agree to that. Neither do I. <laughs> oh, this is a deli of a pickle. Oh my God! The PTA has disbanded. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the PTA has not what? disbanded. <laughs> uh, we do have an emergency plan in case of a prolonged strike right here. Let's see. <sighs> Replace <laughs> teachers with super intelligent cyborgs. Or if cyborgs aren't invented yet, use people from the neighborhood. Mm. Walking out of turn. That's a paddling. <laughs> Looking out the window. That's a paddling. Staring at my sandals. That's a paddling. Paddling the school canoe. Oh, you better believe that's a paddling. <laughs> So, yeah, there's a few things there. So, number one, um, they decide at this PTA meeting that to keep the school going. I did hear a lot about L.A. Unified uh, out in Los Angeles. They've had a lot of teacher strikes. And so uh, either have to shut the school down for a period of time, go to some sort of virtual learning platform or bring other people in to fill in for a period of time, either substitute teachers or substitute teachers in the form of the community and that's what they're doing here i don't know how well that would work um you've got this guy saying everything's a paddling and they're poking fun almost everything in this episode they're poking fun in kind of a unrealistic way but there is uh there are things here that do happen in real life that they're poking fun at and there are some places i've been that seems like everything's a paddling <laughs> he says uh oh that's a paddling um, and he's holding, I have seen a principal walk around with a paddle like that. I won't say where, um, but I have seen that before. Longitudinal waves cause the erratic oscillation, you can see it there, of the neighboring particles. <laughs> yes, what is it? What? What is it? Can I play with it? No, you can't play with it. You won't enjoy it on as many levels as I do. I love <laughs> the colors, children. <laughs> okay, when I call your name... Uh, you say present or here. Well, no, say present. <clears throat> I need a bath. <laughs> yeah, all right, settle down. I need a bath here. <laughs> wow, Bart. I'm impressed the way you knocked off all those substitutes. In my weaker moments, I almost pity them. Yeah, so he not only did Bart cause the teacher strike to begin with, now he's trying to derail the school district's plan of using all these substitute teachers from the community. Um, I can't say I like this. He's trying to bring the whole school down. And I will say it is hard to be a substitute teacher. Uh, you probably heard a lot of jokes about, you know, substitute teachers, but it's a hard job. Well, children, I don't know what you did to all those substitutes, but it's going to stop now. Marge Simpson. Oh. Hello. Chris. His mom. Now hey, what's mom? he gonna do? Over here, sweetie. It's me, mom. Hi. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Can't mess with her. Well, I'm sure some of you already know me. I'm Bart Simpson's mother. Is <laughs> <laughs> he gonna want the oh, teachers yeah. back? Hey, Bart. What about the booby trap? <gasps> Oh no. May I? Thank you. I meant the other booby trap. <gasps> oh, kids have been doing that one since my day. <laughs> okay. Psst, over here. 
Huh? Mom, I need a dollar. Ever since I started teaching here, kids have been taking my lunch money. And I need that money for candy. <laughs> hey, precious. He needs his lunch money for candy. Oh, that's it. I can't take this anymore, Millhouse. I gotta get the real teachers back. Why? You'll never get Krabappel and Skinner together again. They're like two positively charged ions. Zoe? He's been learning. Wait, that's it. With your book smarts and my ability to exploit people with book smarts, we can figure out a clever plan to get them back together. Party for me in Principal Skinner's office? Well, I don't know, but all right. I thought she was on strike. Go to my office. Highly irregular, but all right. And you're not coming out until you reach an agreement. Yeah, so really dark ending there at the end. They end up solving the teacher strike by bringing uh, prisoners into the school and housing them for money. <sighs> really horrible. But uh, yeah, teacher strikes unfortunately are a thing in certain parts of the country. Um, again, not so here in Georgia because it's a right to work state. Yeah, it, that is a reality for some places. Um, I did enjoy this episode. It is obviously really over the top in classic Simpson style, but it does poke fun at some things that are true to life. Um, granted, it really, really, really exaggerates those. Um, but nevertheless, I did enjoy this episode. If you want to see me do some more episodes of The Simpsons, let me know in the comments and I'll check out the other ones that are about uh, Bart and Lisa's school. This has been High School Principal Reacts. Once again, consider subscribing to the channel if you're enjoying these videos, and I'll see you next time on High School Principal Reacts. Thanks for watching.